Hello guys, welcome to Jehuk and in today's session we are going to discuss about Terraform Locals. Terraform Locals is a very important concept and it comes very handy when you are working with a relatively very large Terraform files. To understand this concept, I have taken a sample Terraform file code snippet over here. And here, if you look carefully, I am trying to define two resources. One is AWS VPC resource and another one is AWS subnet resource. And here I have created a tags for each resource and each tag start with the name staging because uh, I'm using this Terraform file for staging environment. That's why I have kept the tag name starting with staging. But let's suppose if you want to use the same or similar Terraform file in the production environment, then what you need to do, you need to manually go into the Terraform file and you need to update these values from staging to production because that will, that will be more suitable from production environment perspective. But I don't think it's a good practice to go inside your Terraform file and manually update uh, all the tags, tag name one by one. So for that purpose, we have a concept of Terraform locals and you can declare a local variable inside your Terraform file. The main benefit of using the locals variable over here in the Terraform file is you need to declare variable at one place. And once you declare or modify that variable, then it is automatically going to affect your complete Terraform where you have used that Terraform variable. So here you can see uh, at the top, we have defined a variable like staging environment and we have assigned the value staging. Okay. And throughout the Terraform file, we are using the same variable uh, like in the AWS VPC and AWS subnet. So if we are going to change or modify this name staging to staging one or staging two or staging three, then we don't need to manually go inside each resource tag and update the value. We just need to update the value at one place that is inside our local variable. Before we proceed, if you haven't seen my previous session on Terraform variables, where I have explained what is like Terraform variables, string, number, boolean, list map, and how to use variable TF, df var files and command line variable so please go go back and check those previous session if you are just getting started with terraform and you want to learn more about terraform variable so those will be a really good session uh, before you jump into terraform locals all right let's see some demo and this is my main.terraform file uh, which i have created and here if you'll see carefully here i'm to i'm just trying to create an aws instance and that instance is EC2 instance over here, if you look carefully. So this is the definition or this is the tag which I'm going to use for EC2 and the instance type which I'm trying to use is T2 micro, okay? And apart from that, uh, here I'm providing a provider tag that is for AWS, which we need to mention because we are going to perform this demo on AWS. And apart from that, there are a couple of more tags that is VPC and uh, AWS subnet. In the next upcoming session, I'll explain what is AWS VPC and AWS subnet. But in the meantime, uh, just try to remember we have created uh, multiple tags over here because we are uh, doing the demo for locals. So that's why we are just uh, concerned about these tag names and each tag names over here is starting with the name staging. Same here, same for subnet and same for instance. Okay, so uh, we will try to improve this Terraform file using the Terraform locals. The first step would be to create a local variable and for that we are gonna create one tag that is locals and in that you can define a variable and variable name you can keep whatever uh, of your choice. So I'm just gonna keep the variable name as staging environment and you can assign some value to it. So the value name can be uh, let's say staging and after that, we need to use that variable inside our different tags, that is VPC, subnet, and instance. So for that, how you need to do is uh, just remove this staging tag over here, uh, put some dollar sign over here, and after that, curly braces. And then you need to type in the value over here, that is local dot, and after that, you need to use your variable name. So the variable name we have defined over here is staging e environment. So just use that variable name over here and you're done. So just copy the same uh, variable name from here and replace here as well as here at line number 35. Okay, so now you can see uh, we have improved our Terraform scripting code. So here we have declared only one variable and now we are using the same variable throughout a different uh, resource block. 
So in case if you want to change this name to Terra staging one or staging two or staging three, then you don't need to manually go for each tag name and update the value. You can just simply uh, come over here in the locals and update the value and it will just update uh, throughout your Terraform file. Now, before we apply our Terraform configuration, I just wanted to show you my Terraform, uh, my AWS dashboard so that uh, uh, you can see like I am not running any previous EC2 instance here. So here you can see instances are zero and I don't have any previously created VPC. So you can just check that one also. And here you can see uh, there is a one VPC, but I don't think I have created. It's the default uh, provided by the AWS. And here you can see the list uh, there is a one VPC running, but the name is empty. And uh, this is like something which we get by default from AWS. Okay, and similarly for subnet also we can check. Uh, yeah. I'll just click on subnet over here. And here, everything has been created previously. So I haven't created this subnet. Uh, yeah, so let's go back to uh, my uh, Visual Studio and run some Terraform apply command. Before we run Terraform apply command, there are a few command which we need to run. And the first command is uh, Terraform init. And once you run the Terraform init command, it is going to download all the dependency for AWS environment. Uh, now I have run the Terraform init command, so I'll clear the screen. The next command which you need to run is terraform plan. And once you run the terraform plan command, then you can see all the uh, variables which we have declared will be replaced with its actual value. So in the tag name, if you look carefully here, so here the name, the variable name has been replaced with its actual value that is staging. So now you can see the staging VPC tag over here. So uh, this is how uh, we create a local variable and it is going to replace those variable name with its actual value. So now I have run the Terraform uh, plan command and it is going to add three resources because we are going to create VPC, uh, subnet and EC2 machine. Okay, I'll clear the console over here. And the next command which I'm gonna run is Terraform uh, apply. And you need to supply value, yes. All right, so now our Terraform apply command has just finished. Uh, let's go back to AWS dashboard and verify our resources. Now I'm on AWS console. And first of all, uh, I'm just gonna verify my EC2 instance. So I just click on EC2. And here you can see one instance is running. So just click on one that one instance. And here you can see uh, our EC2 machine name that is staging Terraform EC2. And if you lo go back to our Terraform file, then that's the name which we have assigned. Okay. So here, uh, that is our EC2 instance, uh, which is running on our AWS console. And the name is something over here, Terraform EC2. Uh, but before that, we have used the variable name that is staging. Okay. So I just wanted to uh, recheck that thing. Okay, so that is our EC2 instance. Next thing which we need to verify is our VPC. So click on VPC. And here you can see uh, two VPCs are running. One is by default provided by Amazon and the second one which we have just started. And here you can see uh, the VPC with the name staging VPC tag. And if you go back to our Terraform file, then you can verify the same uh, resource name which we have given inside our tag so that is vpc tag uh, and it is suffixed oh sorry it is prefixed with the name staging okay so that is our vpc instance and the next thing which we need to check is subnet so click on subnet and it should pop up over here okay so here it is so previously by default we have seen three subnet but here is the fourth one which we have just provisioned and that is staging subnet tag and that is also coming from here uh it should be yeah over here 
subnet tag and lastly once you are done with everything then we can destroy all the resources because i'm just using it for demo purpose so i just don't want to keep it running so i'm just going to run the command terraform destroy and it is going to destroy all the resources which we have created using subnet vpc and ec2 instance i hope you liked the today's session on terraform locals in the next session we are going to look about the terraform output values meanwhile if you are interested into the similar content then you can go to youtube and check my channel with the name rahul vag where i keep on uploading the similar content on devops like kubernetes helm chart terraform and also you can uh, uh, check me on a web with the name jhook.com this is my blog where i keep on uploading the guides which i generally used into the lab session uh, so till then uh, see you into the next session and if you have any question then please put it down into the comment section i'll try to get back to you till then bye bye see you